Well, we're joining from the very famous and much awaited BT Masterclass in New Delhi. And I'm joined uh, by Professor Vivek, uh, Dr. Vivek Ranga and uh, Professor S.C. Sharma. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining uh, us. And I think uh, the first question has to be, and uh, let's address the elephant in the room, the fact that uh, ICFA has been quite uh, on the leading charts every time when it comes to the top uh, business schools. So who do you credit uh, on? On this is it uh, the conventional norms coming uh, going on for years or is it uh, the innovation along with of course the digitization that must be credited okay uh, <clears throat> thank you for a very comprehensive question I will say that uh, our founder mr. NJ Yashashvi hmm. should be given credit his name must be mentioned because it was he who visualized the future of management education. It was he who said that the purpose of a business school is to prepare the students for the industry and make them employable. Actually, what National Education Policy 2022 mm -hmm. is talking today, those very priorities were set by Mr. Yashashvi way back in 1990s. Right. Yeah, mid-1990s. So, to my mind, the systems, the ecosystem, the priorities, the strategies, the sequencing, and the seriousness that Mr. Yashashri has injected, that very uh, strength, that very light is taking it forward. Of course, people who have come or who are managing the affairs today have contributed very richly to see that we remain contemporary and we remain relevant and we are ahead of others in terms of our competitiveness. That's great. Thank you very much. But if one last question, Professor Sharma, and this is also relating to the whole uh, fact of digitization. How do you see the future of education system in India? I mean, look at uh, uh, a new kind of, uh, I'd say, uh, uh, avenues that have come up. Online education that's gone really big. Tele-education is also upcoming. What is the future of education? Just a closing line. Well, <clears throat> two, three things I want to mention. Number one, education has to be skill-based mm -hmm. and we don't have to go in for a situation where every student who wants to get employed has to necessarily get a degree, you see. Right. So <clears throat> people should be able to get uh, jobs even after 12th class even after 12th class and a time should come in, in when... An, in an organic sector. In an organic sector. That is where we uh, we have to drive, you know. Mm. So 12th class and then you should have some certification programs. Mm. And these certification programs, some communication, some, some soft skill programs, certain programs which will enrich their uh, communication skills, mm. their capacity to get along with others, their capacity to understand the viewpoint of others, their capacity to develop perspectives and move away from anecdotal understanding to conceptual understanding. That is all possible. Uh, that is the future of uh, education. And education has necessarily to become the starting point of individual's transformation. Transformation in terms of the societal interests, transformation in terms of the organizational interests. So man must go beyond his self-interest. And likewise, organizations also have to go beyond the limited perspective of profit motive or balance sheet driven, you see. So individual must contribute to the organization mm -hmm. without coercion. He should understand his enlightened self-interest. It is only when the companies and corporate are profitable that they can share the prosperity with the employees. And on the other hand, the companies should invest in the human resources so that these human resources are skilled and contribute in a bigger way to the productivity and prosperity of the organization. So, madam, in one word, I will say, Education has to be connected to the workplace. Education, book-based education, bookish education, 
theoretical education is of little relevance degree is required not for everybody but jobs are required for everyone that's, that's a wonderful point you have made and i'm going to pick up the one word that is transformational thank you very much gentlemen for joining us on thank bt you. masterclass thank you very much.